Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Detroit Become Human, and it is time for Stratford Tower. Technically, we gotta do this first, then it's Stratford Tower. This is probably gonna be a longer episode. You can already see that from whatever time it ends up being, but... Because we're gonna do Stratford Tower and, uh... Public Enemy. So, we just got this dick. So, we have Stratford Tower, Public Enemy, Midnight Train, Capital Park, Meet Kamsky, Freedom March, Last Chance Connor, Crossroads, Night of Soul. There's another mission, and then the Battle for Detroit, I think. I still haven't technically finished my... My whole... Roadmap guide. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage okay, to. Okay, I'm moving in my chair. I'm sorry. That's for the, the only way. What do you want to do? Stratford Tower. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Wait, why is it not registering these? There you go. Parking pass. Why did it make Wilson oh, there we go. For you. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Oh, she, oh my gosh, she passes through me. Oh my. Just block her off. Block her off. Move, dude. Gotta get in my elevator. Four, forty-five, forty-six, and forty-seven. Cafeteria. Ah, bathroom. There we go. Nope, that's studio. Uh, restrooms back here. Back here. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
Pop the last one open, and we'll change into uniform. go let north in. I'm gonna go this way so I can grab. I believe there's a magazine. There is a, yeah, there's a magazine after the elevator in the restaurant. So I'm gonna assume that's the cafeteria. So you need to ruse the guards. Shoot the guy running. Hope rusing the guards is easy. Oh, here it is. Read it. GI Android. I know the public opinion is not great for us. Right? Uh, oh, they're indifferent on us. But I gotta shoot a guy in this episode. I gotta shoot a guy in this mission. It's gonna go down. Huh. Don't I have to let... Oh, find the utility android. Ah, huh, I thought you let North in there. <sighs> I think he's in here. Not this one, right here. I need your help. Is it really stealing a maintenance cart? <laughs> We're not taking it anywhere. It's not leaving this building. Is it really stealing? Alright, so... This is kind of the hardest mission, because I have to do stuff correctly in this mission. We gotta ruse the guards, and then we have to shoot the guy that's running away. That Shit. should allow us to broadcast our message and get out. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Come here, little buddy. Need your help. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. There we go. Drop it. And let's open this bad boy up. This is one of the best missions in the game, just by design aspect and how it is. Just one of the best missions.
ladies first. Alright, off we go. That was really weird. <laughs> Like I said, my controller, bro, it's, it's so stupid sometimes. I don't get why he's cutting it like this. It doesn't make any sense. Why not just get both of your feet off of it and then you don't have to do this weird cutting angle? I guess that's what he's doing, but I don't get why he needs me to do... You could just do one circle if, you're, if your leg is... Or if your legs aren't in the way. I, I don't know. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Alright, call up that service elevator. Let's do this. The Stratford Tower is actually not incredibly long. I mean, it's long, it's gonna be like 20 minutes, but it, uh, why do I feel like I remember it being like 30 minutes or 40? I guess I might have explored a little bit more, I don't know. What do you want to do, Marcus? We gotta ruse them. Right here. I don't know how you ruse them, but. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders. Set! Da I screwed that up. I don't. It says ruse the guards. If I draw my gun, he's gonna call central and then I have to shoot him. Um... Because now. I got to do it the correct way, but the issue is now is I think if I quit out, I probably should have played it to completion because we were almost to completion, but because I think if I load this in now, we're going to be jacked up. Accessing the story chart. I guess I don't need Hank to hate me anymore. I had to get to the right spot. So, I don't need... I need the public to like me. But I don't think it's imperative...
Really? The only checkpoints are on the top? There's not even a checkpoint at Stratford Tower? You're either... Oh, top floor. Okay. I'll load this in. Because I don't need Hank to hate me anymore. So that's not an issue. I'm trying to think if it, it would affect anything important. I don't think it would. Yeah, I don't think it matters what I do here. From this point on, I think I can just... Except, my, except Connor will not have been dead. Hmm. North is neutral. Hmm. I think North w would be a friend. We're going to try this. I don't actually know... It's iffy. It's iffy on if this saved or not. I can't remember in my first playthrough at this point if North... Let's do this. If North was a friend? I think she was. I think if you go and get those parts for Jericho, she becomes a friend. I don't really want to draw my gun because I don't want to shoot him. But we're going to have to do it, I think. Well, this episode a little longer now that I screwed up. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Okay, okay. So you said to draw your gun. I thought if you drew their gun, your gun, they got on the phone anyway. All right. Pop the door. Good so far. I gotta shoot this guy. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Alright, let's do it. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Okay. I just got to pray. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back and fix it. Tell me when you're ready. Not excited to go back and fix. <laughs> ready. created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. 
We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. All right, perfect. Don't have to worry about leaving Simon. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. And we're off. Mission successful. Everybody's alive. Achievement done. Now we just have to pray we that our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast our shit over didn't overlap. News a group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids. In is this, this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? There we go. Trophy earned when a plan comes together. <laughs> I've done literally every possible ending. I think that's the best ending because if, if you want to get the achievement okay so here we go now we can find out if hank is warm yes it didn't overwrite hank is still hostile let's go that means all my deaths should be still valid we're good let's go baby we gotta go for a boat ride with amanda now Ooh, that's hype. My issue with the last one, I think, is that I didn't let it finish out. So then I couldn't reload. I think that was the issue. I think that was the issue I had. I didn't let it finish out. I got Hello, pissed Connor. and I rage quit because I messed up. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Hey, Amanda, I didn't die this time on my own. Hank shot me, so you better not be pissed that I died. Like you usually are. Hello, 
this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh, hey. I'm having difficulties with Lieutenant Anderson. He's unstable. Even hostile. He shot me in the head last night. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. So we gotta get. Uh, I'm trying to think exactly how I want to do this. I need to get the android to freak out so he can shoot me in the back so I can save Hank. This guy is such a dick. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Alright, dude. Suck a dick. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay. All right. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. No, someone let him in. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Remember me? It was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. Sorry. 
You must be mistaken. Oh. Of course. It could be you. That Connor was destroyed. I would have died on the terrace. Connor saved my life. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say. Dang, I kind of wanted the good response to it, not the one where I've died a bunch, so I don't even remember him. It's this guy on the end, isn't it? Alright, let's start the interrogation. It's the guy on the end. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. I'm just going to hammer the guy at the end. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Because I think it's him. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. It's him. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. It's him. Uh, watch, I'll be wrong and it's not him. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Keep hammering the guy on the end, Connor. It's him. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Yep, I was right. It's got me. Oh, God. Check the controller. Come on, man. Hold on. Come on, baby! That knife fell. Uh, come on, Connor, move it! This could be a really long mission, but... You have a minute to get to this thing. Come on, come on, Connor. You have to suck at touch it or at clicking buttons for that. Get up, Connor. It's a deviant. Stop. It. Welcome, Hank. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor. Connor, no. So you want to shoot him if you want to have the highest rating. So the public is only skeptical still, that's good. It didn't drop our rating out of being just skeptical.
Okay. Oh, I don't know why I continued. That needs to be the end of the episode. I keep messing up that crap. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we'll be taking on Midnight Train and maybe Capital Park. I'm not sure how... Midnight Train's kind of long, but I don't know if it's long enough for its own episode. We'll find out, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.